This time we're looking at the Blue Planet Water Elixir of Life because it's never been more important to talk about these issues we have. When we started talking about the environment, we were talking about climate change. And today we are talking about the climate crisis. I think it is important to call for education and awareness about some current problems we are facing, not only in Romania, but at the level of humanity, at the level of the globe. Our theme uh, this year is a wake-up call that more or less some of us haven't even experienced, either through drought or floods, where we talk about the impact of water on our lives. In fact, we draw attention to the fact that drinking water is only 3% of the total water that is used throughout the world, so that every drop counts, every gesture, in every project that we judge matters, and hence the theme of this edition. We analyze the number of registered projects coming from civil society, meaning NGOs. The event is enjoying success. We don't have a category dedicated to NGOs because I don't think there is such a thing anymore. We have 11 categories of excellence, including environmental campaigns or environmental innovation, circular economy to the sustainable use of various resources, so that NGOs as well as companies or authorities that can participate in the competition can choose a theme where they really have an impact and we analyze it. So in a word, they enter a fierce competition with projects also registered by companies or authorities, which makes me very happy because we see that civil society in Romania is becoming more and more professional in the implementation of environmental projects. On the event's website, galagreenreport.ro, we find all the awarded categories, from environmental education to environmental project funding. There are 11 categories. Raluca Fischer, president of the Green Revolution Association, makes a brief review. We are talking about excellence in the financing of environmental projects in energy efficiency, environmental innovation, public administration. The latter is a category in itself, and I would like to see even more local authority projects entered and with quality. The circular economy is another area that we follow very carefully and where there are many projects written every year, environmental campaigns, excellence in water consumption management, excellence in sustainable transport, in agri-food and heritage conservation projects, and last but not least, because I think it is one of the most important categories from my point of view, excellence in environmental education. Green Report is currently running several exciting public projects. Among them, there is the Green Report podcast. You have been listening to Green Planet. You are tuned to Radio Romania International broadcasting from Bucharest. Report of the Day. I'm Diana Vizou. Over October the 23rd and 24th, Bucharest hosted an impact conference, which is recognized as one of the most important business and technology events in Central and Eastern Europe. The decision to hold it in Bucharest was based on the desire to create a landmark event for the business community in Southeast Europe, after the successful model of impact conferences in Poland. The organizers aimed to mark an important premiere and bring this showcase of innovation and ideas to the local stage. I had a talk with one of the organizers, Kosmin Vladimirescu, general manager of Mastercard Romania and Croatia, starting from an older idea of his that there is no real indicator and no formula that can directly quantify how educated a country is from a financial point of view. 
given that financial education is essential at the level of the population, 